Carrie Neal. Just a bit concerned about uh, the future of a job, it looks of it. Let's see uh, what that is about. Uh, I ask for the truth on behalf of Carrie Neal concerning uh, the future of a job, concerning career issues. And I ask this in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love, and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth, always. And we just cut the uh, deck there, Carrie, and then we'll uh, just pop it over here. And then we'll just see what's going on, see what's uh, happening there for you. Of course, we have to establish what's been going on. So that'll be the first card. That's around about what's been going on over the past three or four weeks or so there. Uh, of course, then we have to find out what's going on now and suppose what's happening at the minute. And then what will happen, what's about to happen, I suppose in the foreseeable future, uh, for the next uh, three or four weeks or so after that. So, uh, that's just... Uh, just so you can see them there, and then we'll, uh, and, then, and then we'll see what's going on. So the first card then we'll uh, gra grab is this this one here, the recent past influence. We'll just bring that round there, and we'll just flip it, now nice and slow, not to disturb the energy, and then we'll just see what's been going on from a career point of view. That's understandable, isn't it? The moon. Um, it's been a touch of darkness going on just recently. You've obviously. Uh, been seeking guidance through that darkness. You've been offered guidance, uh, advice. Uh, so it's more a case of, of of advice through the darkness, as you would say, in that sense. Of course, with the moon and and, and things that the the, the moon symbolises introspection. So I suppose it could really indicate a lot of soul searching been going on, maybe. Uh, with this job, is it the sort of job for me, is it paying enough, um, and I suppose, uh, but do I take the risk of losing it all, or what What? What happens, a bit of a gamble isn't it in today's society with corrupt governments, uh, wrecking the economy and things, and self-serving governments, especially like in the UK, uh, they're prepared to murder their own people, they are, I don't know what it's like where you are, but certainly, uh, I mean to seek advice and guidance is, uh, Seems to be what people are doing more and more these days. And you, yourself, not excluded from that in any way, shape or form. And, and maybe whatever advice you've been given just recently, you're thinking, is it the right advice? Maybe maybe that's why you're turning to, to maybe the Free Psychic Readings group in, uh, on Facebook, or you've probably seen us on Twitter or YouTube on your travels, maybe, I don't know. Uh, we normally upload uh, these readings now to YouTube and then just send a link uh, to Twitter and, and obviously to Facebook with Facebook uh, being a bit immature at the moment with the systems being a bit immature and not uh, not being properly managed. Uh, plus, of course, the video quality on YouTube is far better, isn't it? Um, even low-quality videos when uploaded, these low-quality MP4s, far better but back to you again in your career of course with the guidance of course me on about all that with facebook and the trouble that we've had just recently uh, i've had to sort of seek advice uh, of course from from the cards and whatever but sometimes you have to seek advice from yourself you're the best advisor sometimes you are your best your best advisor that you can you can have sometimes you know I want to just see, uh, regardless of this, though, what's going on now? How's this affected you? Uh, whatever advice you've had. There's a lot of elements going on there. The moon and now the sun, the sun god Ra. There, of course, a lot of an Egyptian feel going on here tonight, isn't there, with these readings? Um, um, it's New Year's Day night now, as it is, as it is now. Um, this, of so course, the sun just indicating really that it's, um, your perseverance has been rewarded right now. So whatever it is you've been doing, whatever it is you've been having a go at, certainly you, you, there, there are rewards. Maybe not necessarily the reward you were hoping for, but we never get what we want, we never marry the one we want, we never live in the house we want, we never have as much money as we want, we never do that. So we never get what we want, we usually, we usually get what we need, don't we? 
Um, but nevertheless, your perseverance has been rewarded right now. So whatever advice you took, um, it was sound advice. And things seem to be panning out okay. But of course, there's still concern about your job. I suppose maybe if it's, you know, I, uh, I don't know what, what concern that would be. But let's just see where your job, as you would say, will be for the foreseeable future in the next three or four weeks or so. Uh, you've got the griffin there. Honour and good luck. So it clearly shows that people do respect you and will carry on respecting you in, in, in your job. Your workmates or, or the boss or whoever yeah, this, this may be. If you're self-employed, of course, then, then of course those around you... Uh, it's still on, there is a lot of respect, so it looks as though your job is safe for now, for sort of January, sort of end of January, early February. It looks as though your job is safe for now. Um, regardless of that, and and if you're about to lose your job, then you'll be in straight into another one. It's it's like that. So your your job, your career situation itself, you've taken advice. And, 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 it, and it's paying off now. You might not be able to see that, that reward there, but believe me, it, it's paying off and uh, you'll be respected for it, even if it means you have to walk out for something better. Nevertheless, you'll be respected for it. Honour and, honor and good luck is there, just around the corner. I somehow just want to pull another card, although really, you should quit when you're ahead, shouldn't you, really? Uh, let's just see what's going about February. What's going to happen around about February-ish? Uh, yes, the black cat. Your luck will soon change. So, regardless of what luck or what 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 vibrations are at the moment, um, the black cat bringing protection and good luck and 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 whatever. So, honour and good luck leading to more luck. Your luck will change again, and and maybe if there is a ch if, if you do want to change your career. For something better, something better is around the corner, around about, around about February. Just leave it for a bit. Leave it through to January, early February, but around about February, sort of, uh, you know, um, sort of mid February, something like that. Uh, you, you should be, you should be okay. I suppose I could look at the. Uh, Sometimes it's handy just to 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 look at the uh, the moon phases, isn't it? I've got like a like a, uh, an old an almanac thing here, and of course I suppose if you want to go like for healing and 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 uh, initiating anything, uh, the next new moon is on the seventeenth of January, uh, I suppose. But uh, of course it's a full moon and now at the moment, isn't it? So maybe you can banish and sort of clear out the cut clear out the clutter between now and the 8th of January where the, the last quarter on the 8th of January up to the new moon on the 17th there uh, between now and the 17th of January you can uh, clear out the clutter and banish that which you don't want ready to initiate on the 17th uh, it's around about 217 UTC so whatever that is in, uh, in, in, in your language I don't know uh, I'll have to work that out of course, if you're in sort of like the East Coast, then it's five hours five hours behind, doesn't it, or whatever. So, with that, then, uh, things that aren't as bad as what you think, but if you decide to jack it in, uh, there's something out waiting for you there, but your luck will certainly be changing uh, mid-February, uh, or thereabouts, around about, of course, uh, uh, around about the, the 17th of January. Where, where that cat... Oh, where, where that... Uh, well, that black cat, of course, says, says that, uh, of course. Uh, we could probably pin it down to a date, I suppose. I don't know. Well, let's just have a look again at the... Uh, yes, uh, about mid-January, then, we'll be, well, uh, then mid-February, isn't it, we said? So, around about the 15th of February. The new moon on the 15th of February. They're ready to initiate something there. Of, of course, the full moon is on the 2nd of March, so... Yeah, that might be pushing it a bit. So, yeah, 15th of February probably is a good time to initiate something there as well. So uh, that can be your cut. That can be your, that can be your threshold or something like that. I don't know. Whereas the 17th of January can be your optimum. Uh, 
I don't know if you want to start working on dates and that, but of course it's not rocket science and nothing is. It's, it's a bit of a dark art when we deal with with dates and things. But for now, I think uh, these cards have spoken.